Welcome to this Windows in Computer channel and uh, hey, we have a cumulative update today, June the 26th. So um, in the, um, it has happened quite often in the past uh, few months that the last Tuesday of the month we have a cumulative update for Windows 10. So this one is for Windows 10 April 2018 update only. Uh, there was a cumulative update last week for those that were on Creators Update and Fall Creators Update. Now this one is for the April 2018 update. No security fixes in this. Um, so um, that's the first thing. It's not urgent urgency to install because of that. So the update is KB4284848. Uh, you see it right here. And uh, it is for both 32 and 64-bit versions of Windows 10 April 2018 update. Fixes a number of problems. Uh, the list says uh, addresses an issue with video settings in the Edge DR, uh, high dynamic range streaming calibration, um, brightness intensity control, and in certain um, computers, certain manufacturers. Uh, streaming ca compatibility issue with certain live TV streaming content. Um, addresses issue with uh, where media content previously generated by Media Center doesn't play. Uh, issues with smart heap that don't work. Uh, addresses performance regression if you are in uh, AppV or virtualization of some sort. They address an issue with the app monitor stops working. Uh, address an issue where app monitor stops working at log off and user settings are not saved. Application running in a container image um, in the dynamic port range problem. DNS issues. Uh, address issue with T1, T2 custom values on uh, the HCP. Address is issue that causes latest version of Google Chrome 67 uh, to stop working on COBOL devices. Issues with remote desktop client. Plus, there's something to read about that if you are using remote desktop client. Uh, address is issue that causes connection failure in remote desktop connections. Microsoft Edge issue. Uh, stops working when it initializes the download of a font from a malformed uh, URL or non-compliant basically. Addresses issue where some receive an error when accessing files or running programs from a shared, shared folder and an issue that causes this task scheduler configuration uh, log an error. That's pretty much what they say here. Uh, like I said, no security updates in here. And, um, you know, if you have issues and problems with April 2018 update, apply this update and see what it does. And uh, after you applied this update, um, you should be, if you look at the Windows version, you should be at 17134.137. This is where we are at now at the April 2018 update. So check it out, uh, an update. It took about um, download and install together, maybe... 10 minutes on my machine. It was uh, pretty quick. The install was pretty fast. Uh, it's really the download and initialization phase was a little longer, but the, the install itself was very quick, a couple of minutes. So check it out and uh, hopefully, cross your fingers, if you have issues with April 2018 update, maybe it's going to fix something for you. And uh, let me know how it goes. And if you had some issues, let me know if it fixed some of your problems. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. And uh, just head on to the Windows update if you're on the April 2018 update to get this update downloaded.